life um because this is my favorite job the one i'm doing now is my favorite job um at the best company that i've been at so although i'm here um yeah maybe it would have been nice to have been here a bit earlier <laughs> Sure. So my name is Debbie Harris. I was at uni between 1997 and 2001. Don't judge me for being old. <laughs> and I studied, uh, it was a mixed degree, so 75% sport and 25% business. Uh, because at the time you couldn't do sport as a single degree subject, but you can now. I went to King Alfred's College in Winchester. Um, it was a college of higher education at the time. It's now gained university status. So I was able to do my degree there, but it wasn't technically classed as a uni at the time. Why did you choose your course? Oh, so I loved everything about sport um the psychology behind it the science behind it um the practical stuff i enjoyed but i i kind of really liked it as a rounded subject um i did really well in it at school and at college so uh when i saw that it was available uh, at university covering psychology sociology and biology i was like amazing um and then i just had to find out find what else I was going to do for the 25% and I guess at the time only being 18 my dad was like mm, I really think you should do something uh that's that might see you in good stead elsewhere and so uh, I chose business so you've obviously now finished your course I <laughs> guess a long time ago <laughs> what did you think of your course I really liked my course um I it was good how evenly it was split between the three subjects for sport. Um, and it was nice to know that each of those particular subject areas were at the same level as the full, say, full biology degree or the full psychology degree. So um, you knew that you were at least getting, you know, the, the best in class uh, for the sections you were doing. Um, and it was quite nice although I was forced to choose to do something alongside the sport because it was a 75-25 split, um, it was actually nice to have something else to do uh, sort of alongside my main focus. Um, and, you know, I learned about business and marketing and, and those sorts of things at the same time. So, yeah, it was good. Did you do a placement year while at university? No. Is it something you suggest? I, I think it's a really good idea. So it wasn't really common when I was at uni. It's definitely something that seems to have taken off a lot more. Um, my cousin, although in Germany, which I appreciate may not be relevant to your story, um, as a lawyer, studying to be a lawyer, she did, uh, I think it was a requirement to do at least a year um, of placement within the course itself. And I'm sure, certainly for people that are studying to go into a specific job, um, it would be super useful to get that, you know, on the ground um, in job experience while you're studying. What were the best things about studying at your university? Oh, um, that's a good question. What was the best thing? We had a, an amazing library. Um, so it was nice to have, you know, a lot of stuff on campus sort of at your fingertips. Now, I didn't actually stay away at university. I lived at home and traveled in for my lessons um, and any sort of study group. So um, I might not be the best person to what give- What was it like then, that experience? So I know my dad was really annoyed that I didn't live at uni because um, he felt that you really needed to live to have that full rounded experience and that you would meet you know your best friends for the rest of your life because you know you're living together with different people for the first time you're experiencing all that stuff together um but personally um i find studying on my own much better so i actually find studying with other people are a bit of a distraction so for me not being there actually kind of helped uh, i still made a couple of really good friends but 
I might not have delved fully into the university experience like um, other people. And the worst things? Um, I guess probably the, I would say for me, just the exams, like I'm really good at studying, right? I mean, I was back then. Um, I was very organized, you know, I had my timetable, I stuck to it. I wrote my notes, I memorized them, wrote them again, all that sort of stuff. Um, but the, I guess the pressure of the exams was quite tight. And I very nearly, I nearly had a panic attack in, one, in like my first exam in my last year. Um, and it kind of really threw me. So I wasn't expecting it, it totally came out the blue and luckily I got through and it was fine. Um, but I think maybe then at that point, <laughs> I probably didn't realise maybe quite the pressure or the stress that you're under at that, you know, that final hurdle. Um, so yeah, deadlines, I guess. Okay, if we now go into advice for students who are about to go to university, what advice would you give to students, first year advice would you give to students that are about to study at university? Oh, I would say try your best to be open. Um, I was probably a really nervous kind of person, although I'm a very people orientated person, um, because I didn't know anyone going to my university. I probably shied away from a few things at the beginning and maybe didn't sort of get as involved as I could do, um, even with classmates, but also on the campus itself. So I would definitely say, you know, sort of go in, be brave, um, be open and really sort of grasp those new experiences. And what advice would you give to students who are maybe looking for a job after university? Um, I guess, I guess networking. Um, if you know what job you want to do, um, then I would certainly be, you know, trying to talk to people, utilize LinkedIn or local businesses or anything that does the sort of job that you're wanting to do. Um, research up on it, you know, so that if you are lucky enough to, to be taken for interviews or you're prepping your CV, you know, so that even though you've only been at university, you can say, oh, I've done these other things to try and give myself, you know, a bit of a sort of step up um, to be at least thought about. Uh, for an interview. You chose going to university over an apprenticeship. What path do you to make this choice? It was one of those situations for me, I guess, that it was this sort of unwritten, not rule, but I'd never thought of anything else other than just studying what I liked at college and then studying what I liked right. and what I thought I wanted to do for uni. Um, I guess there weren't also when you sort of think about apprenticeship apprenticeships you may be back in my day certainly it was a lot of like being an electrician or being a car <clears throat> mechanic or something and I appreciate it's probably changed dramatically but certainly they weren't the things at that time that I wanted to go into so it was a bit of a no-brainer for me. So what is life like after university? Um, so I, I was trying to think when, you know, what was, was the first job I got post going to university and was it what I wanted to do? Was it just because I needed to get money? So I just did whatever I could. Um, you're kind of in this period where you're really pleased with yourself because, you know, you've just spent three years putting all of your time and effort and knowledge and blood, sweat and tears into your, you know, your degree and your dissertation and stuff <coughs> um and then you're kind of like oh uh <laughs> so what am I going to do with this then and I think the first thing I did was go on holiday <laughs> um you know I think just to have a little bit of downtime but yeah I think I wasn't necessarily I didn't necessarily have the greatest of plans I hadn't thought that's definitely the job I want to do so I'm going to go and research that or I'm going to go and try and get into that it was actually for me more of what can I do straight away to start earning money and so I went into retail. Mm. So 
if we now go to where you are today, which is where I'm are you today? Morgan. <laughs> what advice would you give to yourself back when you just graduated? If so, were to get to the position you are in today? <clears throat> so I think I definitely would have either liked somebody to have had some more kind of like career sort of job discussions maybe in that last year of uni you know last year last six months possibly um not to be a distraction from your exams and your dissertation but certainly to start you thinking you know better about what you are actually going to do afterwards because you know for the previous sort of like six seven years it's all you'd thought about was going to college and then going to uni and getting your degree and then you're like oh I've got it so wow. someone tell me what to do now um so yeah I think some definitely spending more time thinking what do I want to do you know what companies can offer me a challenge what companies have maybe got plenty of room you know for you to move in um maybe even have you know told myself to have learned more about different job roles you know um what does it mean to be an accountant what does it mean to be a sports physiotherapist you know what does it mean to be this and was that actually what I wanted to do um because this is my favorite job the one I'm doing now is my favorite job um at the best company that I've been at so although I'm here um yeah maybe it would have been nice to have been here a bit earlier <laughs> so, don't forget to like subscribe and i'm plugged in amazing thank you <laughs>